My prediction actually for humanoid robots is we're headed to a radically different world. I think a good world, an interesting world. Elon Musk Hello. just unveiled dancing humanoid robots to world leaders in Saudi Arabia. It was quirky, but what followed was a serious message. Artificial intelligence and robotics will drive the next $10 trillion transformation in the global economy. When you, you think about like, what is the output of an economy, it is productivity per capita at times population or capita. The, uh, once you have humanoid robots, the actual economic output potential is tremendous. Uh, it's, it's really unlimited. Um, potentially, we could have an economy 10 times the size of the current global economy. Musk is reframing how we define wealth, not by the number of workers, but by the scale and capability of automated productivity. Robots that never sleep, never get tired, and can perform labor at a fraction of the cost. He suggests this shift could eliminate scarcity altogether, ending the need for traditional basic income models. No one wants for anything. You know, sometimes in AI they talk about universal basic income. I think it's actually going to be universal high income, where anyone can have any goods or services that they want. This isn't a pipe dream. It's a calculated bet on a world where AI labor creates such abundance that material needs become irrelevant. One that we've all dreamed about for years or seen in movies, wondering when they'd come to life. Do you remember the days when people believed there'd be flying cars by 2010? Movies like The Fifth Element with Bruce Willis and Chris Tucker, or Back to the Future with Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lyod and Leah Thompson. Or just a general future so advanced it'd be unrecognizable from our own. That's what Musk's aiming to build. He's in the right place too. Back in 2022, the Saudis announced the revolutionary project called Neom the Line, with no exaggeration on it being revolutionary. This super city is designed to span 170 clicks or 110 miles, housing over 9 million people with access to numerous amenities all within a short radius. They want high-speed rail, flying vehicles and advanced hydroponics for all those living there to thrive in a unique environment and with all the ability Musk provides. Saudi Arabia seems like a natural choice to build a relationship. Um, my prediction actually for humanoid robots is that ultimately there will be um, tens of billions. Um, I, I think everyone will want to have their personal robot. You can think of it like uh, as though you had your own personal C-3PO or R2-D2, or, but even better. Then who wouldn't want to have their own personal C-3PO or R2-D2? That would be pretty great. But also on robo-taxis. So how are we doing on robo-taxis? Uh, yeah, so really you can think of a car or future cars as being robots on four wheels. And um, Here, Musk makes it personal. He envisions a world where everyone owns an AI-powered humanoid robot. Think about the scale, billions of units, each functioning as a personal assistant, caregiver or mobile worker. This isn't speculative fiction, it's a near future roadmap. The tech already exists in Tesla's Optimus project, just not at full production yet. And robots aren't the only vertical. He's laying the foundation for robo-taxis, fleets of AI drivers monetizing every idle car at global scale. It's a cash-generating mobility network. And His Royal Highness was talking to you about his vision and his dream to yeah. increase productivity for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and power up the region and the whole yeah. world with robotics. And I'd, I'd also like to, to uh, thank the Kingdom for approving Starlink for maritime and aviation use. This moment wasn't just about vision. It was about action. Starlink, Musk's satellite internet, is now officially approved for Saudi air and sea. Infrastructure is already being laid. And then comes a surprise pivot. I have this company called The Boring Company, uh, which sounds kind of boring, but it's, uh, it's, it literally bores tunnels. And actually, uh, tunnels, in, in order to solve traffic, you really need to go 3D with roads and by uh, using tunnels, you can essentially create, create like, like a wormhole, like a, like a warp tunnel from one part of a city to another and alleviate traffic. And we're, we've actually already done this proof of concept in Vegas. So there are w working tunnels in, Ve in Las Vegas that you can use where um, that'll just, it, it feels like teleporting from one part of Vegas to another. Tunnels, 
internet, robots, cars. It's all converging into one singular framework. Musk's idea of a modular, automated civilization. Yeah, and then XAI uh, is uh, just trying to solve general purpose artificial intelligence. The goal with XAI is to have a maximally truth-seeking AI. And it's, it's important to be maximally truth-seeking AI in order to understand the universe. Mm -hmm. So the, the goal of XAI is understand the universe. Um, to understand, uh, you know, you know what, what is out there? Um, where is the universe going? Where did it come from? What questions, in fact, I think maybe the biggest thing is, what questions do we not know to ask? Like, I, once you know the question, the answer is usually the easy part. For Musk, AI isn't just about productivity. It's about truth, understanding the universe, asking deeper questions, aligning machines with human curiosity. But he issues a stark warning. A science fiction book recommendation that I have, which I think is probably the best envisioning of an AI future, is... Uh, the, the, the culture books by Ian Banks, uh, very highly recommended for a uh, non-dystopian view of the future. If we don't do this right, you know, you could have like a James Cameron sort of movie, um, you know, Terminator. We don't want that one. We are at a crossroads. One path leads to collapse, the other to exponential progress. It's up to us to build the right future. Having sort of a Star Trek future would be great, where we're out there exploring the stars, discovering the nature of the universe, and a level of prosperity and hopefully happiness that we uh, can't quite imagine yet. I mean, that's, that's my philosophy. My philosophy is a, one of curiosity, just trying to understand the nature of reality. And that right there is the biggest idea Musk is trying to plant in the minds of global leaders. Because this isn't just about robots that can dance or cars that drive themselves. It's about a paradigm shift, a world where curiosity becomes the primary fuel of civilization, not oil, not labor, not even money in the traditional sense. Musk's vision of reality redefines what it means to be human in an age of infinite productivity. We're not just automating tasks, we're automating value creation. When robots can build homes, cook meals, clean cities, teach kids, and even care for the elderly, all without fatigue, we're talking about a world where the limitations of labor simply vanish. Think about that, a society where scarcity disappears, not because we ration better, but because abundance is engineered, where machines take over the heavy lifting and humans are free to explore, create, think, and question. That's not a fantasy, that's a systemic redesign of economics, and Musk is setting the blueprint. The easy part, it's already happening. You don't need to wait for the future. Starlink is live, Optimus is real, the boring company is digging, and Saudi Arabia has given the green light. The regulatory doors are opening, the infrastructure is being laid. In places like NEOM, leaders aren't asking if, they're asking how fast. And this is where things start to feel real, tangible. Because when an AI can do a week's work in an hour and a robot can replace a fleet of workers, it doesn't take a generation to feel the shift. It takes a fiscal quarter. That's how fast this change will hit. And most governments, institutions and traditional corporations are not ready. Speaking of which, we have a video going over the predictions of a team of researchers full of ex-open AI Google and other AI labs that joined together to predict by their best hypothesis that this could all become a reality by 2027. We also go over topics like this all the time, like our other video about Google DeepMind's prediction looking closer to 2030. Check it out, it'll be linked at the end of this video, so subscribe for more if you don't want to be left behind. The new economy. This is where it gets even more interesting. Musk's idea of universal high income flips our understanding of wealth upside down. We've spent decades arguing over UBI, universal basic income, monthly checks to cover basic needs, but Musk's model skips that altogether. Because in a fully roboticized economy costs plummet, goods and services approach zero marginal cost. The AI that designs your house, the robot that builds it, the autonomous truck that delivers your groceries, they're all working off renewable energy. 24-7, without wages, 
without breaks. So why hand out money when you can just give people access? Unlimited goods, free transport, instant services, true freedom. And that's the future we're walking into if we build the infrastructure right the safe path. But as always, there's risk. Musk doesn't shy away from the Terminator reference, because it's real. Alignment problems in AI aren't just theoretical, they're existential. If we build machines that can outthink us, but don't share our values, that's game over. That's why XAI exists, to create a maximally truth-seeking intelligence, one that doesn't just serve, but understands. That helps humanity discover what questions we've never even thought to ask. The alignment between truth, safety, and discovery is fragile. And Musk knows that. So this vision, it's not about utopia. It's a bet where we either become a multi-planetary, post-scarcity civilization, or we collapse under the weight of the very power we created. And the clock is ticking. Musk's roadmap connects every piece. AI, robotics, energy, infrastructure, transport, communications, and philosophy. It's not five companies, it's one vision. One unified push to build a future that actually works. Click here to watch our dive on how Sam Altman's recent plans have compromised the company's integrity and infuriated Elon as he's suing his old partner for everything he owns. The AI race isn't just a tech war, it's a fight over the future of human purpose, and it's far from over. We're always bringing you up to date, vetted info you can rely on, so subscribe for more and we'll see you in the next one.